I am your friend, your boy, your neighbor, your father, your pastor, if you are allowed me to be, Pastor John McClain, here with my boy wearing a, a beautiful shirt that, that reads King's lift up kings absolutely and uh he's uh, he's usually the i believe in myself man and he's definitely <laughs> helped me believe in myself andrea shui is here to help steer this little boat with me you ready yeah man i'm ready man the shirt is uh actually the desiree cook i am three, okay. i am you 360 uh, that's the nonprofit organization that mm -hmm. helps out teens you know homeless teens and great organization man yeah that's amazing yeah yeah just just Kings lifting up kings Absolutely. with hers, like queens lifting up queens. I like definitely, I think we're long past due having Desiree Cook on the show and talking yeah, about that amazing organization, IMU 360. I know one of the projects they're, projects they're shooting for is a tiny house village for youth, mm -hmm. as well as uh, they do, seems like some type of kind of like uh, workshops and they do yeah. uh, uh, a lot pantry for need items. So yep. they do a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. And you're wearing a, a cool shirt. Definitely whoever does their like their branding smart people because yep, they, they that's that's cleverness and mm -hmm. i'm just excited for the show today though i mean we had a, a great show last show it seems like every show we're just having action-packed stuff but yep. great show last show but we definitely have another great show today we have david and i'll have you say his last name so i don't butcher it Goyen. okay that <laughs> and he's with <coughs> natural healing care center um definitely this uh, really excited for this knowledgeable guy about the absolutely the marijuana, cannabis, medical marijuana, whatever you want to call it, industry, and um, certainly long past due, people kind of just being better informed about this. So I'm excited yeah. to to get people in the new. And then we have, I think it's safe to say, if not one of our favorite, our favorite guest on the show in Dr. J. Yep. Dr. J in the house with Tucson International Academy. She's a superintendent there, a former educator with Tucson Unified School District. Uh, the author of the book, Making College Come True, and the co-host of said radio show that I'm also a host of called Making College Come True Radio Show. Yep. So, yep. yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. That sounds like a mouthful. Yeah. And then, like, and, and it's just, like, being here and you feel it, like, I'm so rushed today, like, almost a tear's coming to my eye because it's just, I had one of those, like, aha moments today as I was leaving my thrift store or mm -hmm. our thrift store, rather, veteran, veteran Thrift, coming to our radio show, and then I'll leave here, and then I'll go to our tiny house village for homeless veterans. Mm -hmm. So yep. it's just, and, and just to think, five years ago, all I had was a backpack full of property. Yep. So it's just like, yeah. with that in, in mind, it's like, let me thank God. Yeah. And, I, and it turns us to our, our opening prayer, which today is going to be the Lord's Prayer, because God has blessed us so very much. Let's show him that we, we, we get it. We get it. And, it. and the Lord's Prayer goes a little something like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Yep. Man, <clears throat> I almost so. want to do like a Pastor John's verse of the week and break this down because there's yeah. so much good stuff here, but... I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. But I'm going to yep. give that good Holy Ghost energy to our awesome guest today. And then I'll let you take over this week with um, with the, the head of Nature Healing Care Center. And we'll find out everything awesome that they do. Yeah, man. So I'm so grateful to have you here, David, man. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, super excited, man. We've known each other for some time now. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, like... Nice. I love when you do this. Like, And, it's, and if, if you have not met Andreas Ruiz... In the city of Tucson yet one I'm sorry and two you'll probably will meet him but Andreas has just a collection of the most awesome friends yeah in the world so no, yeah I've been privileged so man. David I I am very excited for to be your friend because that's another thing about his friends usually they become really good friends of mine so yeah man yeah, I'm excited it's, for this brother but yeah. I'll get out of your way sorry so Definitely. I can't help no. it, yeah man no moments, but right? I, I really love what David is, is doing man with the in the community and you know, with a uh, healing center, you know, like uh, the natural uh, healing care center. 
And so tell us, David, like, you know, a little bit about, you know, what is the Natural Healing Care Center and what do you do, man? Yeah, so um, first off, man, I think that's super cool what you do with those tiny houses. Uh, uh, I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, I see that going on in L.A. and a couple other mm-hmm. cities, too. Cool, and, you know, it's good to see people having some shelter. Yeah. Um, we do uh, holistic wellness, um, alternative medicine. We focus on a lot of um, cannabis um, education, certifications, um, coaching, dosing, um, mm-hmm. pretty much anything in the industry uh, mm-hmm. with cannabis we're familiar with. Um, it all started out because I was on my own healing journey, trying to find relief for some very chronic back pain and some bad um, intestinal issues, ulcers, um, a lot of different things, a hiatal hernia, mm. and not finding any relief. Um, mm-hmm. Then I discovered that um, through the medical marijuana program in 2010, um, I met a naturopath and discovered acupuncture and homeopathy mm. and started utilizing that, making some lifestyle changes. Ended up getting the most relief I've ever received. And mm. Um, mm. I decided to make it my uh, mission to tell people about this. I had an opportunity to uh, go a different route in the cannabis industry and um, lean more towards the um, retail end and um, sales. But I decided to stick with um, the wellness. And, you know, it's a little different. We're not, we're not the big business like the cannabis industry has. A lot of people, um, misinterpret that they think that just because we're associated with marijuana that we're like making these big bugs but it's like Mm -hmm. well no we're on the lower end of it we see patients once a year Mm -hmm. if that now we see them once every two years Mm -hmm. um but you know we're the we're the most important part though because we're the introduction to the program so Mm -hmm. we have to do a lot of our own outreach and education to get people familiar with um the program Whereas some of um, the other um, businesses in the industry do not have to do that. They're already, all we have to do is point them to their direction, you know. I know mm-hmm. it's a little harder when you get to branding, um, but for the most part, um, going to the dispensaries is not difficult. You know, there's only a handful over here, and we send them to some that we think are the most reputable. Mm-hmm. Um, but kind of went off a little bit on that. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I mean, I, there was a, a point that I, was, I wanted to make earlier because it was just like, you just say so much. You're just it's a wealth of knowledge. But to to go back to the actual point that I, I I wanted to point out is like, particularly Andreas doesn't doesn't he sound so much like the issue that Doctor Marshall had with like throughout his life, particularly his childhood, he had all mm-hmm. these health issues and like <clears throat> he took all these other things and he was prescribed all these medicines for the pharmaceuticals. And it was just making him more ill. Mm-hmm. And and because of that, he actually became a doctor in, in pharmacology to kind of figure out how to do things. And he learned, you know, the natural ways, the way to do things. And I've actually, you know, I've sat down, I've spoke with him privately. I wish he was in here in studio with us because he would probably cooperate with what, you know, everything that you're saying, that there's these, there's other ways to handle things other than pharmaceuticals, which is, you know, we're, we're all taught in some capacity you know, that's where it ends and the great pastor great. john mcclain pop my collar when you're talking <laughs> you like go. that okay i hear you <laughs> yeah, okay, you the, you the man too all right here we go we got a whole bunch it. of men in here doing the thing let's, let's, let's do tear it, it let's up. do it man <laughs> and uh I'll, of course david as well we have in the studio from natural healing care center wait let me try you it going it going it going it it going. There we go. I'm close. You're going. You're getting there. You're getting there. You're getting there. I don't know. Sorry, man. You're it's just like, there. my You're tongue just there. doesn't work a certain way. It's like <laughs> paralyzed on a certain part. But yeah, yeah man. But, yeah. you know, I'm really excited to have you here, man. And uh, thanks again for being here. And I really love what you talked about how, you know, this this uh, natural healing care center came about, like, because of uh, an experience you had. Mm-hmm. And as you, you had a mission, which is really awesome, to help other people. And so, mm-hmm. you know, you kind of explain how, you know, you were, you got interested in uh, healing people through holistically and, you know, through um, cannabis and all this good stuff. So I want to ask you, like, you know, during these times, like how has COVID impacted natural uh, healing care center? Man? Yeah. And Great I just want to clarify, I'm not a practitioner um, and I don't do any claim to do any healing. You know, it's all the plants and mm-hmm. the energy and the physicians, you know, mm-hmm. all the 
you know, I, I just see myself as maybe like a, a vessel to point people in the right direction or, you know, a, if any way, a, a tool that allows people to be here to help. But um, it's definitely the plants and, and the energy that is doing all the work. Um, as to answer your question, Andres, uh, COVID, it definitely threw a wrench in the spoke initially, uh, just with the fact that people were so... Um, afraid to leave their houses or really uh, carry on with anything uh, initially. Um, we didn't see a big dip early on, but towards the summer, that's when it started to be um, um, apparent that we needed to make a couple adjustments. Mm -hmm. And we went to, um, and that's when the state um, opened up a little bit more with allowing us to do stuff more virtually. We went and revamped our whole website naturalhealingcarecenter.com or you can get there through nhcc.biz um, we do things more um, virtually now so we have okay. telemedicine you can fill out all your forms online um, we pretty much can do everything online now right before I left the office today we had all of our appointments switched to telemedicine so mm -hmm. we just all we do is set up the links and stuff so um, mm -hmm. you know there's been those adjustments um, complying. Well, thinking of that, how have you adjusted personally to like your job being different, like your assignments and all that? Um, uh, me personally, I'm cool with change. You know, I, yeah. I come from Love. a mindset sink or swim, so mm. it's like, <laughs> you know, yeah. you, you, we got to make adjustments. If you <laughs> think you're going to go through this world without having something thrown at you to make you change routes, you, you know, yeah. you're going to be very surprised when it happens. So. Mm -hmm. I've already, you know, I'm I'm 38 years old. I already learned that things are going to happen. I just roll with it, do what I can. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. I don't force things that stress me out. If mm. I can't, you know, if I'm not seeing any change in outcome, then I think, what do I have to do different? Because if I, you know, mm -hmm. doing the same thing yeah. over and over with, you know, <laughs> expecting a different, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what is yeah, it? It's you insanity. Know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So man. tell us, what are some of the other services that, natural healing care center provide um so we do acupuncture um okay, nice. one of my favorites that we just started doing and we do it in-house um mainly we'll have a virtual soon is a guided meditation oh, nice. um nice. that really helps out you know that's a way that allows mm -hmm. me to adapt to all this so it's not just you know my mindset it's also um the condition i do with um, meditation mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. staying grounded getting to nature there eating you healthy you know mm -hmm different things like that mm -hmm. um but we do that we do um we had yoga going on we're not currently offering it um but we will get back to that soon we have the space for it mm -hmm. um we do um education coaching naturopathic medicine um you know the, the things that come to the office and then you yeah, also get people certified for their cards. Oh, that's the biggest well. thing yeah we do yeah. people uh, medical cannabis just to make that clear yeah just so, just so people you know, in case they didn't catch, if you go to naturalhealingcarecenter.com, mm -hmm. right, you can, you know, register to get your medical card. Um, this nice. is certainly one of the establishments. And another thing I was thinking, just on my t top of my head, I was spitballing, it'd be cool to, for us to do an event together. Yeah, so it definitely yeah. it seems like <clears throat> it's something we were talking with a group with, or I was talking with, with a group with Pima Community College um, earlier today. You know, people are starting to do in-person events again, and that's that's happening. So in a lot of ways we can be the trendsetters of how to do those in-person events and i certainly know in in this community i've been open to the idea of you know how do we make that happen so yeah, i, would I love certainly that. would love to have that conversation more in the future you know put our yeah. show and you know our our stuff behind our promotion behind what you're doing and uh, i certainly you know i believe in in what you're doing a thousand percent and i guess kind of like in a nutshell, what is the main thing that you want the listening audience to catch about what Natural Healing Care Center does and how they can plug into what you guys are doing? Yeah, well, as you mentioned, cannabis is our identity. If this wouldn't be here if it wasn't for cannabis. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Natural Healing Care Center wouldn't be operating. So we are cannabis. That's our identity. You'll see it on our website. Um, I want people to know that we're more than that, though. We do a lot of outreach, the guided meditation. It's more about a holistic approach. Um, mm -hmm. That's why we are a, a holistic wellness center. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we try to get involved as much as we can with helping the community with food, clothing, 
anything we can do to lower prices. Um, mm. I feel like it's super important to um, not only feed people, but feed them um, proper nutrition. Mm -hmm. So even when I see somebody on the streets and, you know, they ask for money or a meal, I don't go and just get them fast food or something. I go and I get them, you know, quality juice and nuts and things mm -hmm. that I know that will carry well and sustain mm -hmm. them and help, you know, empower their mindset too, mm -hmm. because that's what it's all about is empowerment. Um, that's why we do what we do because we want people to have the freedom to know how to take their own medication, even how to grow their own medication, their mm -hmm. cannabis, how to um, make their own products at home. We teach infusing. I do an infusion class. I'll show you how to make all your own oils. Mm -hmm. We make a, wow. yeah, we make an in-house topical. We make our own rubs, um, CBD, and we can teach you how to do cannabis as well. Um, those help mm -hmm. with pain relief. Um, you know, own your own dosing. So that that's what it's all about. I, I would want people to know that we're more about um, outreach and empowerment. I, that's what it's in our um, mission statement too about education, preventative medicine, outreach. Mm -hmm. It's all mm -hmm. that's in line with who we are. It's mm -hmm. for me. It's teach someone to fish. You know, not give mm -hmm. them fish. So Very it's cool. like you know, we need people to know that they have the power to do all this because people come in wanting us to be the ones to give them a magic pill or something it's like well no you got to put in the work you're gonna have mm -hmm. to go and be go. disciplined with your diet mm -hmm. with Beautiful. your lifestyle you know i mm -hmm. i want to do a bunch of stuff with my body too and go out and be physical and play all these games but as Beautiful. you get older you like got to take it easier so mm -hmm. you know that's discipline right there knowing what your limits are and i think people pride and ego get in the way a lot so we help show them at the office, like, no, nah, nah, leave all that at the door. <laughs> you know, and it's, come natural, here, it's different. natural healing care center yeah. dot com. One last time. Any, mm -hmm. what was the other one you said it was? NHCC dot biz. You know, that's the easy way to get there, yeah. but natural healing care center dot com. Well, well thank you for coming, being in studio with us, brother. Definitely look forward yeah, to man. having you a lot this more. Great, Hopefully dude. he can be our kind awesome. of cannabis correspondent keep us up to date because yeah. there's so much we didn't even cover oh, there's no, so much that we have it. to talk about but we didn't even yeah, touch it <laughs> thank you i am pastor john mcclain i'm clear on that absolutely yes. and i'm here with kings lift up kings wearing man mm. t-shirt man andre <laughs> yeah. Ruiz of i believe in myself yes so if you don't believe in yourself please call this man he will certainly help you with that effort <laughs> It's, yeah. It definitely helped me because if if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't believe in myself to do a talk radio show. I, and, same here, man. And I do two now, so I, you really got me believing nah. in myself really <laughs> yeah. good, man. You just actually probably slow down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Give me to believe in myself a little bit less at this point. It'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get more sleep if, at least. There you, yeah. go. there you go. Yes. But we have we have our favorite guest in the studio, yep. man. Yep. It's yeah. game time. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's probably why I'm so like joyous today. I don't know if you can see it, Doctor J, but I just, I just feel it today. I was telling the story as, at the beginning of our segment, as I was leaving Veteran Thrift, our thrift store, coming into, our radio shows, two of them, <laughs> and then I'll leave here and go to, our Veteran Tiny House Village to transition veterans into housing, and five years ago I just had a backpack full of property. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Isn't that is wild? awesome. Isn't that God? Isn't that some <laughs> magical? God. Yeah. And that then, is how he and rolls. That's, mm -hmm. that's how I led into the prayer of the day. So yeah. that's awesome. You got to give it up to him. Yes. You got to give up to him because 100%. he's been giving it to us really good. So yeah. he's earned it. <laughs> that's so right. That being said, mm -hmm. one, of, one of my, I'd say it's safe to say mm -hmm. one of my mentors at this point yeah. and like one of my one of our favorite guests on the show. Let's go. Let's go through the resume early. What do you think? Let's, I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So one of our favorite go guests here on the Common Good Radio Show, the superintendent of Tucson International Academy. Academy. You're keeping count of your little piggies over there, right? Okay. Yeah. A, a former educator with Tucson Unified School District. For those in the back of the crowd that really loves our love our local educators, I'm one of those that's, yeah. that's back there rooting with them. Uh, the author of the book, Making College Come True, I, I have read it, so I know that it, how delicious it is. And then also <laughs> the newest host of one of the newest talk radio shows in the city of Tucson, Making College Come True radio show, Dr. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Herrera. Yes. Yeah. Dr. J in the house. Okay. Yay. 
Yay. Yay. <laughs> I hope you came ready, people. Yes, yes. I am ready. I yeah. hope they're ready. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. And I'm, I'm guessing you had another busy day today like oh, usual. Oh, yeah, the usual. You yeah. know what? But I tell you what, I'm encouraged and I'm mm-hmm. looking forward to seeing some things that are going to happen, you know, just time. The one, the gift of time is, is that with the changes that happen, there's always a gift in the middle mm-hmm. of it, and mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I've learned to look for that gift because it's always there. Mm. And um, like I mean, the pearl and the oyster. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And you know, while it's very hard and frustrating for the kids with this COVID time and having mixed messages about, you know, do I go to school? Do I not go to school? Is it safe to go out or is it not safe to go out? Mm. You know, they're they're very affected by that, mm-hmm. and uh, to see now people trying to come around schools to help um, alleviate pressures and stresses of kids it's really encouraging and you know we just keep getting grant monies and things mm-hmm. like that where we can do that little extra something mm-hmm. and we yeah. can um, just lift them up and, and tell the kids you know life does this <laughs> there are little surprises but mm-hmm. you don't have to be blown up by them and so we're working on that that's been the big um, topic but the encouragement is how the community and how the government even is is issuing grants and things like that to help, mm. and it is really making a difference for us. For mm. sure, and, and if I do not say so myself, you're starting to shine on the Making College Come True radio show. Oh man, I love it! Yeah, I la- love last doing week that show. with Mama and Papa Goose. Oh yeah, and then who else did we have on? With oh, Dr. Tim, doctor. Oh, yeah, Dr. Mm-hmm. Tim Marshall. It was just like, nice. yeah, Mr. Just, Baserto. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You just been shining lately. Yeah. It was it was exciting to watch. I mean, you're. I feel bad for you. You're missing it, buddy. Because <laughs> like, I wish you could you could hear as many times during the show where I'm talking about like I'm jealous for us. <laughs> like for those people at home, they don't get to be in studio and, and share this energy uh, and like for once seeing fun. Mama and Papa Goose and it was just yes. like. It was amazing. Like I was, certainly, I was talking a lot uh, with my friends about you can learn a lot from Mama and Papa Goose just on presentation. Oh yeah, because Mama Goose she ain't playing. Nope, she <laughs> is not playing. The total package. Yeah, she right has, <laughs> she don't this mess is, around. This is a strong <laughs> woman who, with a graduate graduate of an HBCU, eventually got herself a PhD changed her name legally to take on <laughs> She's not playing her right. brand. That's right. <laughs> and if you saw her attire, right. you would see mm-hmm. from her pinky toe up <laughs> to the sh- the feather that perfectly yes. walks over the top of her hat. She thought about it. Yes. Mm. And <laughs> and that level of concern and care for mm-hmm. something it's amazing. It's mm. unheard of, right? Yeah. Yeah, and they have great plans. They want to they have want to create kingdoms for children. Mm. You know, there's That's Disneyland nice. and Disney World, but this is like Castle Land and it's all about um literacy and about wow. adventure and about being the best you can be and it gets more values based and the beautiful castles they're going mm. to create all over the world. They have a very big plan. Mm. And I have no doubt it's going to get implemented. We didn't catch <laughs> any of that good stuff oh, either. We def- sh- we'll definitely have them back more. Definitely. And- and mm-hmm. I don't know where they live at, but I would love for you to take me there. <laughs> they and live the, in beautiful Houston, Texas. <laughs> okay, well, not right now. <laughs> we could go help them if they need. Yeah, but yeah. in the future, it would be nice. Maybe yes. fall. Yes, to, fall yeah, is yeah. a nice time. It would be yes. nice to visit them at the fall sometime. When the humidity has fallen. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Right before I the like cold that. hits uh-huh. and right after the heat drops. That's right. That's the perfect spot. <laughs> Otherwise, I usually stay here. <laughs> like the only place that usually can talk me away from here at this point is Honolulu. Uh, that that was kind of an adventure. That uh, was, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. You got to go again and again. Again, again. <laughs> even if they try to quarantine me again, I will <laughs> yes. do it again. <laughs> Absolutely. So, man, oh, I, I think man. we just ate up all our time with just oh, yummy well, goodness. Yeah, which is great. I definitely I wanted yeah. to make sure we covered the Making College Come True radio show because well, there's so you. much awesome stuff that's coming out of there. We got Coach Rubio coming on March oh, 4th, I believe. Yeah. Coach Rubio is the U of A girls basketball head oh, coach. Girls nice. volleyball. I'm sorry, did I say basketball? I meant yeah. volleyball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. And he has done volleyball um, seminars for schools, and he's just one of those people in the community who is totally totally more about 
uh, life and helping others than just only his girls. Mm -hmm. And he has his girls doing all kinds of outreaches. Wow. Yeah, and those amazing. girls start at 6 in the morning. They don't get home till Man, 7 I at night. I can't wait to pump that out there. Man, One, I can't wait fun. to pump out that he's going to be on. And it'd be cool if we could work out like a once a month uh, visit from him so that way he can mm. kind of keep us updated on what's going on in their program or even what's going on in the school. That's so. very possible. <laughs> uh, this is the Common Good Radio Show brought to you by Veteran Rescue Mission. Good old Veteran Rescue Mission. And I am Pastor John McClain. I, I, my little brainchild came up with that with God's heavy inspiration. He said, here's a, a heavy load of suffering for you. <laughs> now, if you don't want to have to deal with that anymore, do something great so not only you but nobody else will have to deal with it. So mm. Veteran Rescue Mission is what is what came of that. And then I'm here with a man who created something that I want to think inspired by God. God spoke through the children with this man when he mm. said he said Mr. Mr. And Andres, Señor Andres. <laughs> and, and and Andres was like, "Okay, here's here's something you can you can say. Say I believe in myself." Like, I believe in myself. You know, I don't uh, what does this mean? And he told yeah. him what it's, it meant in Spanish. And with that, he was not only teaching you know, young migrant children mm -hmm. to believe in himself themselves, but he's teaching me, he's teaching Dr. J, he's teaching all <laughs> kind of people to believe in himself. With the, I believe that's in myself, right. coaching, that's Andreas Ruiz we're talking about, people. That's Thank right. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, both of you. Uh, <laughs> I'm really grateful for, all, for both of you, honestly. Like, you know, it's uh, people like yourselves that uh, inspire me to just keep being a better man mm. yeah well yeah. you're a smart mm -hmm. guy you just you just i don't th i think you're smarter than you give yourself credit for because <laughs> you're the one who decided to hang out with us homie because uh, like, uh, like definitely <laughs> dr j will attest mm. like there's probably been so many times in your life where you're the only one at the party yep and <laughs> how did you know <laughs> yeah yet the party had to go on you know and i was yeah. okay with that yeah <laughs> and, but then due to the fact that mm -hmm. you're the only one at the party a few times eventually everybody started showing up and you did you mm -hmm. got overwhelmed by how many people came to the party that's right and mm -hmm. you were the only one to reflect back on you were the only one at one time that was at that party mm -hmm. so Yes. You decided to come to our parties, homie. Yes. Yeah. I guess I did. I guess I did. That's how you became part of the team. You were yeah. you made yes. it so we were we weren't one of the only ones at the party anymore. You yes. know, and when you say that I tell uh, my clients I tell them, you know what? Um people are waiting for you. It's just mm. that you never if you never go out there, they'll never find you. Mm -hmm. And so that's I had to put myself out there and through Toastmasters that that's how I met uh, Jennifer. I still remember your uh, billboard uh speech. Hmm. That was like five, four years ago. <laughs> My God, I still remember her. Like, uh, uh. like she, I, I was like, wow, this this woman has something special. So, when I saw that, I was I, I talked to her and I, I I went up to her and I said, wow, that was amazing. And we need to do we... more speak public events, Doctor oh, J. Oh, can't wait. Well, we're having definitely. March eighteenth. We're having the showing for Here Comes That Dreamer. Ooh, Let's yeah. Let's have you speak. Let's have sure. you like talk about a particular topic. Oh, you name the subject. topic, and I think it will yeah. not be a problem. <laughs> I think so. We'll plug it in because we uh, have. I know um, PJ's pulled three different artists that are going to perform before wow. the show, and just like we did last nice. time. Nice. Let's have you. Maybe you. One. Let's have you MC the event. Oh. What do you think oh. about them yeah. apples? Well, and then course. have you do you. You maybe a, <laughs> a, a speech. You know, maybe kind of like partition speeches in between the different. Um, artist and hey. kind of like lead me on whatever you what want you for that that would be wonderful it's just That'd coming be awesome. to me. he's thinking me right here god i'm trying to do a radio show god if you, if you told mine we got downloads Goodness. happening here go. <laughs> well, ask her a question so i can take some pictures and take yeah. a second please andreas no, thank absolutely. you uh, <laughs> no so dr j like like really thank you for being here as usual uh i love the energy that we bring to the to the studio every time you're here and you know just getting to what but you, you're the expert at doing is like, you know, what is like the first piece of advice you would give to any individual like interested in going to college? Well, first of all, I would say, what led you to, to this interest? How did you get excited about college? Mm. And then just see what they say. And if they say, well, my uh, cousin's brother's uncle went and he said that I was kind of smart. So I thought, well, smart people go to college. So I will see about that. And then I, we say, well, that's great. And what would it mean to you to be smart? And you just start uh, a series of questions mm -hmm. helping find out where they're at. And then once you hear where they're at, you help, um, you try to drill down to um, 
why what is the purpose that they are trying to fulfill mm -hmm. in this life like i i do believe everyone has more than one purpose probably but mm -hmm. usually it's one main purpose and then mm -hmm. some other purposes follow yeah. and so yeah, what I is like that purpose i like to say what they're genius at that's yeah, kind of, that's, that's how it. I articulate the, it. Yeah, so I get what you're saying. Yeah. And oh. and it does show up, but sometimes it takes a little uncovering. You know, like you feel like a little arch, uh, archaeologist, de, you know, kind mm -hmm. of moving the sand and seeing yeah. what's really and under there. And everybody has that one thing. Yeah. That one thing that they're genius at. And it's like mm -hmm. the sad thing is most people in their life, either I guess like you're saying, they don't look for it or they don't find it. Yeah, they, mm -hmm. they think that if it doesn't just like, come in front of their face and say, hey, I'm your purpose, you mm -hmm. know, that, that they don't have one. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is you, you, it does help if you have a mentor and it does help yeah. if you have adults and people who are older than you and have different experiences than you to kind of bounce these ideas off of. Mm -hmm. And that's why I like having a coach, you know, Andres's coaching is, is invaluable there. You couldn't pay him what he's worth. It's mm. worth that much. And for him to help you know, dissect. Listen to that, Andreas. Get to Did it. you hear what she said, Andreas? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I've yeah. seen him do it. Because <laughs> yeah, li radio listeners mm. out there just know everybody's sitting here at the table. We all deal with imposter syndrome. Yeah. We all ask ourselves, am I worth that? Is mm -hmm. that, should I be doing this? All that. So, Andreas, listen to what Dr. J is saying right oh, now. Bro, yeah. Absolutely. You could no not charge enough. Yeah. You could not feel like you're worth enough you're worth way more than you could possibly think that you're worth brother mm, that's right thanks, so yeah. I'll, sorry sorry to yeah, interrupt thank you, you dr though. j that, i wanted I, to give that's a good point. his due i appreciate yeah. that i really do yeah because it is true i mean again you know i have the schools he comes and he helps teachers he helps parents he helps students i mean it doesn't even matter matter the age mm -hmm. he's just like ageless able to mm -hmm. bring like something to the table with them that that helps them the light bulb goes on mm -hmm. that little that little um you know brushing away of the dirt mm -hmm. and it gets them to the to where they're going and you know it does take a lot of that for finding your purpose in life and then you know one of the best things that i learned um through coaching too through uh, tony robbins was asking seven questions mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. say um oh so you're interested in college what caught your interest and they say Oh, well, I was interested because um, someone said I was smart. Mm -hmm. And um, and why do you, do you think that person thought you were smart? Well, I did win the, the spelling bee, and I, I do score high on tests. Great. And why do you think you score high on tests, and why, how did you win that spelling bee? Well, you know, for me, it's just, you know, I just need to apply myself and put some focus. And how did you know where to get that focus and energy mm -hmm. from? You know, it's just like you go, that's only four questions, yeah. and mm -hmm. you're really learning a lot about the person. Mm -hmm. Go three more questions. And you've got seven. And once mm -hmm. you get to seven, you can get to the bottom of any argument. Mm -hmm. You can get to the bottom of any decision. You can get to the bottom of any, um, like, mm, values call you have to make in your life. Yeah. Like, should I go to Las Vegas or should I not? <laughs> you know, <laughs> should I uh, buy a new house or should I not? Uh, you know, th those questions, you just d dig down just a little. And, and I'm telling you, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So when people are interested in college, I love finding out the why. Because the why yes. is what will help them actually finish it mm. you know the what oh what is college oh it's a way for me to make more money i'm going to college but you got to have a deeper why than money mm -hmm. money alone usually isn't isn't going to do it unless it's a substantial amount mm -hmm. so it's it's like one of those things so i mean being interested in college is um really an important first step and it starts the inquiry process so what would it take for me to go to college i mean how could i you know what would i want to accomplish you know, and a lot of people are are misinformed. They think that college is like an extension of high school. More classes. Oh, you take math again? What for? Um, you take English again? What for? You mm -hmm. take this again? You take this again? All they're doing is grooming you the first two years for the higher level applications. Because in the, the um, junior and senior year of college, you take that basic stuff and you apply it to a professional genre where everybody's pretty with it. So mm. you better write in a way that they can quickly get to the point. Mm. They won't have patience reading poorly written stuff. Mm -hmm. So you have to get good at writing. You have to be well-spoken. You have to have some knowledge of things like philosophy and things that maybe you really had no obvious interest in, but you had to take the class. But mm -hmm. when you took the class, it changed your life. Mm. That's the <laughs> kind of stuff. That's the kind of stuff mm. college does for mm -hmm. you. Also, having a lab partner who's from Saudi Arabia mm. and you're a female, there's mm. a new one. <laughs> and then he needed a ride. 
but he was afraid to get in my car because at the time they did not allow women in Saudi Arabia to drive cars. Mm-hmm. Wow. Because they were inept. So and what then happened? he got in the car because he didn't want to walk. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but let me tell you this. The classic is, okay, so uh-huh. he's new too. He's only been here two months. Uh-huh. So I have him as my lab partner. And he's in my car, kind of feeling uncomfortable because I'm a woman. Uh-huh. It was just a short <laughs> drive. And in fact, one of my girlfriends was in the back, but we let him have the front yeah. seat. To him, it was like yeah. he did the ultimate sit, I bet. Yeah. He felt like he got away with, with something and tapping yeah. his fingers <laughs> together like a sinister bad guy in Until a cartoon. Until um, an American came across the street. And you know how colleges are. And you know how if you're on a college street, those college kids will walk like slow as they can <laughs> and stuff. And, and I, you know, I'm a college driver. I was a college driver at the time. So I was kind of uh-huh. like, er. Come on, <laughs> and pushing them a little, and of course the uh, Saudi Arabian guy's going, "Oh my God, what is she doing?" And they turn to us and they flip us off. <laughs> and it was a female that did it. That's wild. And I looked at him and I go, "Well, welcome to America." <laughs> uh, <laughs> we laughed so hard we cried. <laughs> That's cool. So the, where do you uh, get that kind of experience, know, right? And, and just as <laughs> you're saying it, I bet. <laughs> I bet that dude was super smart. So having him as oh. your lab partner, I bet that was oh, very it's a piece of cake. I didn't growth. have to do nothing. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. yeah, I had this. But I, as college students, we do do our work, okay? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you this whole experience. we got about a minute before we go out of here. When I took a logics class, um, it was a really hard class, and I thought I was going to fail. I was certain. Just because, <laughs> like, doing algebra with words, like, who does that? I don't know. But so I created a study group. And I ended up getting an A in that class. Yeah. So, yeah, and then I made some really good friends. I still talk to some of those people. Chris Christensen, what's up, brother? So, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> this, <awesome. laughs> this is the Common Good Radio Show. Thank you, Dr. J, once again for, yes. for being it's here. It's always fun, honestly. We're going yeah, to turn <laughs> the dial. I'm guessing we'll probably talk Andreas into to jumping in with a yeah. segment with us for a little bit. Uh, yeah, give a little it. love to I Believe in Myself.